Hello, fifth and sixth grade virtual students. It's Mrs. Andre, and I wanted to quick give you a rundown of the bell ringer this week, which is all about color. So if I scroll down a little bit on this bell ringer that will be posted on your normal class date, whenever that is, you can see this very, very vividly red painting with some people standing around a tree. And in that top corner in the right, there is uh, an angel wrestling Jacob is the name of the piece. So. Um, it's by Paul Gauguin, and he's very well known for his use of color. So, my question for you about color, because we've been studying color since we were pretty much born, um, the color itself is the way an object reflects light back at you. So technically, this red painting would be absorbing all the other colors except for red, and it bounces the color back at you. So it's the way the light waves of the color work. So, but colors can make you or uh, a situation feel a certain way, depending on uh, depending on what colors usually you associate with different emotions. So my question for you with color, because I know you probably know the color red, so that's, that's a given. Um, how does this red sky make the painting feel compared to a normal blue sky and why? So to get all the points for this, you're gonna need to use two complete sentences. Um, I would suggest saying a red sky makes this painting feel blank and because blank. Why does red make you feel that way? And then a blue sky would make it feel blank because blank. All right. So I hope that is enough to kind of get you through on color. Uh, color is one of those that we've been talking about since we've been children, little children. So um, if that doesn't make sense or something's not clear, let me know. Hopefully that's enough to get you through this bell ringer. Uh, happy typing. We'll see you next time.